Tech Side High Tech. In this video, I'm going to do a teardown of three PC monitors. I want to see how they work, and I want to see if there's any parts that are worth salvaging. Let's get started. I'm going to start with this monitor right here. And do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And remove all of the screws that I can find. And I'll rip off the front frame panel. And there, the monitor is now revealed. This push button switch I can possibly use. And now open up the back panel. Next, I'm going to remove the screws that are on the side of the monitor. Doing this will release the monitor. And there we go, monitor is released. But carefully release it because there might be a ribbon cable. And as you can see, there is. So remove this ribbon cable carefully. And there we go, it's detached. Now fold over the monitor. And as you can see, there's these high voltage wires which connects to CFL tubes that are going across the bottom and top of the monitor and they use high voltage to power the CFLs which is used as a backlight for this LCD monitor. And these wires go directly to the circuit which I need to carefully remove. Carefully remove the circuit. This controller port receives a video input signal that comes from your graphics card, allowing you to display an image onto your LCD. Carefully remove it. And there we go, it is now removed. Detach these CFL wires which is connected to the high voltage circuit. Carefully. And there, the CFL wires are now released. And there, I removed the push button circuit. And there you have it, the first monitor is complete. Here are all the components that I found useful. Next, take the monitor and put it to the side. And I repeat the same process with the second monitor. And as always, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. How very interesting, the base stand of this monitor has a condenser microphone. How very interesting and useful. Carefully remove the condenser microphone. And now I'm going to carefully remove this circuit. And there, I have some audio jacks which I can always use, and this little condenser microphone which can be very useful. And now, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. Next, I'm gonna carefully remove this video cable that connects directly to the LCD monitor. And there we go, all of the circuits are now removed. Put those to the side and I'll flip the LCD over, cut the tape, and I'll open up the monitor. And this right here is the signal wires that connects to the LCD. I'm going to keep this wire in place to keep it secure and then look up the serial number online and find a controller board for it. I may need to use the same cable to plug into the controller board or replace this cable because the controller board may come with one. And now it's time to work on the third and final monitor. Repeat the same process. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. Oh wow, look at these speakers. These are my favorite type of speakers. Definitely going to keep this. Very nice. And now continue. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw. And as you can see, this LCD also uses high voltage CFLs. So 
what I need to do is carefully detach the wires. And remove all of the screws. And there, all of the circuits are now removed and the monitor is now removed. And as you can see, this monitor also has another serial number which I need to look up to find a controller board for. And again, do the same thing with the wire. And there, I have a third monitor. And there you have it, all of the components that I have salvaged from all three of these monitors. A lot of components that are worth salvaging, especially the monitors. And then a lot of these circuits are potentially useful because I may use them for the monitor or to be able to salvage for certain components that is on these boards. Like these high voltage transformers can be definitely useful. I can possibly use that for a mini high voltage generator or to power this monitor in case the controller board that I buy doesn't come with a high voltage power supply. Otherwise, these components are potentially useful. Some components I can possibly use from each of these circuits or salvage it for precious metals. Also, a bunch of these wires are useful. And all of the speakers that these monitors came with are very nice speakers, especially these two. So what I'm gonna do is just keep the components on the boards and in case if I need one, I'll just simply pull one out. And of course, I collected a bunch of screws. Screws are always very useful. And there you have it, a teardown of three PC monitors. Now you know how all three of these monitors work and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.